Hey everybody. So we get a lot of phone calls and we're able to help so many of you guys by buying your house. But I know that some of you wanna sell your house on your own. So I thought I would take just a few minutes and tell you, um, give you some tips on how to sell your house and stage it so that it sells the best. So number one is you want to declutter your house. And you know, we, we live in our house for many years at a time and it's just, it just happens. It just happens over time. The house gets cluttered. There's that stuff in the corner and the box you haven't opened or that's full of junk that you need to take to the um, donation center or whatever. So the first thing you want to do is just get rid of all of that stuff because you want your buyers to come in and see that nice clean palette. The second thing that you want to do is remove any family pictures. Now, I know that might be hard to do, but if you're wanting to sell your house, you want a person to be able to come in and see their family there, not yours. So by removing those pictures, it kind of, um, it, it makes it more inviting to them. They can see themselves there instead of seeing your family there. The third thing you can do is paint. Paint is your biggest ROI that you can do. It's uh, ROI means your return on your investment. And it's relatively inexpensive. So just by putting a fresh coat of paint on the walls, especially if your walls have been colorful before or, or really, you know, nicked up or, you know, your teenagers have put tape and holes in the wall, you can fix those very, very simply. And, and a fresh coat of neutral paint is gonna make all the difference in the world with making your house look fresh and new and inviting to a potential buyer. The other thing you can do is maybe your paint looks okay, but maybe, you know, it's just kind of gotten, when you bring in the groceries, you hit the wall or you're moving furniture around and it's got those little nicks or those scrapes on it. A wet magic eraser does miracles. So, you know, go around your house and clean all those little things up like that. Um, look at your house through the eyes of the buyer. You know, when we live in our own homes, we walk past that ding in the wall or, or that scratch on the floor or that rip in the carpet. And we totally miss it because we've lived with it for so many months or so many years. But when you go into a new place, you notice those things. So go in your house and if, and if it's that's a hard thing for you to do, have a friend do it. Have a friend come over and be brutally honest with you and say, you know, this is what I noticed, that's what I noticed. And fix those little things because that's what a buyer's going to see when they're walking in and looking at your house to buy. Another thing that you can do that's very, very simple is make your beds. <laughs> You know, I can't tell you how much of a difference that makes. Whether your house is the most beautiful house or not, make the beds, make them look tidy, make them look neat. You know, clean out the closets, you know, get rid of all of the clothes you don't wear anymore so your closet isn't jam-packed. That's gonna make the closet feel bigger. If it's summer, put away all your winter clothes. Go ahead and get that stuff packed and put it in the garage in a box. If it's, if it's um, you know, the other season, just do the opposite. Get rid of those extra clothes so that your house looks neat and organized and spacious. Um, another thing that you can do is open the curtains, open the blinds up, let the natural light in because when it, things are dark, they just look dingy and older and you know, that sunlight just brings a, a breath of fresh air into your house. So open up those clients, uh, blinds and the curtains and just clean, you know, vacuum the carpet so that it has the lines in it. Make the floors glossy with a little bit of elbow grease. You know, do, do your best. Again, even if your house is dated or outdated, just making it look clean will make all the difference in the world. Get rid of all the clutter on the kitchen countertops and, you know, make sure your inside of your cabinets look nice and neat. And as far as the exterior goes, we've talked a lot about the interior, but the exterior, even if you don't have dramatic landscaping or anything like that, just mow the lawn. You know, just by tidying things up, it makes a huge difference in the eyes of a buyer. It, it makes it from, ooh, I don't wanna live here, to, oh, this just needs some updates. I could totally see myself living here. So I hope that these little tips have helped you um, in order to sell your own house, and I hope that you get right at them. Signature home buyers, we buy your house for cash. 